<laughs> Not today. Uh, uh, <clears throat> all right, guys. Welcome back. Yeah. It's John. Martin. <sighs> Will. Roby. Ro. Daddy. It's everyone. We're going to edit that part out. That <laughs> <laughs> shit was stupid. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> hey, Lee. Hey. How's it going? Uh, all right, we're back here on uh, Random on Repeat. Um, first of all, we want to say thank you for all the feedback that we got uh, from the first episode. That was really awesome. Um, and we also want to say that our views are our views. Um, love it, hate it. We think what we think. It's our platform, and we're going to say what we want to say. Watch or don't watch. But watch. Yes, yes please watch. What he said. <laughs> um, today's troubling <clears throat> subject. Well, it's tax return season. Uh, that let's, it is. Let's talk about them babies. All right. So we're going to talk about uh, a little bit of taxes and a little bit of child support. Get that look off your face. Yes, we're going to do it. Yeah. Alright. So, I uh, guess. Well, who, I first guess. question is Who is child support for? It's supposed to be for the child. The child and the well being. I guess they look at it like, uh, you know, the main food, shelter, clothing. Mm -hmm. Those are the three main things. Like an SSI, was it SSID or SS? SSI check? Yeah, they look at one of those. Like, it, it's like if you get locked up in the state hospital, your SSI cuts off. Like you don't get it. Right. So the main thing that you that the child should be provided with is food, clothes, and shelter. Right. So that's what that child support should be going to. Okay. Of the child, I mean personally, I think okay. the person that, that that pays child support. So I want to know that my child is well taken care of with the money that I'm providing for him that I'm paying. Okay, so now, <clears throat> second question is, who is it for? Is it for a child or is it for... For anybody in the household. That's my view. It should be for anybody in the household. I, it, 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 whoever, it should be for that household. I, I look at it, it's, it's, if you're sending that money away, I look at it a couple ways. If, the, if your child's being properly taken care of, okay, I don't care if her hair is done, her nails are done. With your money? I don't care. As long as my, something is going to my child. If my child needs anything and all that, and she has her hair done, nails done, then that's the issue. But if my child's good, you know, clean shoe, I mean, clean clothes, uh, shoes that fit, don't have a runny nose, haircut. I'm following. You know, that's a, that's an interesting point, too, because, you know, I agree to an extent, you know, with that, because I, I, I don't know. I've lost my train. But okay, let me, let me, let me paint a quick scenario. <clears throat> Let's say um, you, uh, you make a job. You, you you're at a job, and we'll say you had a, what's a decent job now? Ten dollars? No, decent job. Decent job. A lot of for tech for Wichita for, 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 for Wichita Falls, Falls and Falls. a regular working person. The average person ain't bringing in fifteen twenty dollars an hour. Fifteen dollars is a decent job. Who's making fifteen dollars an hour? I hope a lot of people. A lot of people aren't making fifteen dollars yeah, an hour. What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you think you are? <laughs> right. <laughs> No, seriously, like a lot of people <laughs> here in this town, eight to eleven dollars is where you at. That's poverty. We know that. Yes. <laughs> you know when I got put on child support, I, he was two. So, she, I didn't know I had a voice. Note to fellas, you got a voice. If you ever get put on child support, speak up. Especially if you've been taking care of your child. I didn't know I could speak up. I just thought whatever she said went. So, whenever I got put on child support, he was two. And they was like, you want to put him on back child support? I should have spoke up. I didn't know I could. And she said, uh, yes. So automatically, right then and there, I was like $7,000 in arrears. Right then. And that, and that was based on minimum wage at Walmart. 
<laughs> That's what they based it on. Forty hours a week wasn't even doing forty hours a week because you know it's Walmart. Yeah, yeah. They based that on forty hours a week at minimum wage. So in minimum wage still is in Tech or in Wichita Falls. Still, I think Texas is seven twenty five. Seven seventy five now. Twenty five. Is it seven twenty five? So nationwide. No, it's not. Seven twenty five is ne- this the federal. Yeah, that's that's, that's federal. That's the least amount of now, money. Now different state. different states yeah. do different things. Yeah, that's the least amount of money a place can offer you, like all across the state. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, yeah. wait, state or nation? Nation, nation. federal. Okay. So again, with that being said. You again this scenario, you making and I said ten dollars an hour. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Average it out, yeah. And you're you know, living basically like you said in poverty, but half your check is going to someone who doesn't work. Who doesn't work, who is let's say living off the government and they have a fairly decent life. They have a vehicle to get around in they're doing everything they want to do. The the house is great, but your kid isn't reaping the benefits of this stuff necessarily. Well, first of all, I think, and we talked talked about earlier, if if you as a parent are living off of child support, then then you shouldn't be taking care of that child. The other parent should have that child. You realize there's a lot of and I don't want to categorize women because so, I know there's men that are on on the side of this too that get child support. There's a lot of people that rely specifically on that child not support. Not rely on child support. I'm saying if you're living off it. When I say living off it, that I mean that's your main source and of that's income. That's pretty much that they coincide. I mean, when you rely on it, that's what you're waiting on. No. Well, so, well, so if you're making $10 an hour and you no, got... You see, you just, hold on, hold on. If you're making $10 an hour and you got three kids, okay, you rely on that child support to help with uh, child care, you know, to make you know help make ends meet and stuff like that. If you're a single parent, but if you're a single parent and that's all you're living off of, that's all you're living off of. You talk about, oh, I'm just going to live off this child support, not have a job, and then take in the government check. And at, at that same time, the other parent, either man or woman, mostly you know, most of the man, the other parent is taking care of his household. And yours. What is the the purpose of child support? To, to provide for the child. Right. Right. You know, why would you put a child in a situation where he got a, you he or she only has that that little bit to, to live off of? Why would you put them with a the parent that's actually could support? Because they don't care about that. No one cares that's that's the that. that's my biggest thing. You don't if you can't support your child. You know, not saying you shouldn't have them, but it makes sense if you want your child to have a better life. That parent that could do whatever they they could do. Well, again, that's it's not fair for you to say. Who are you to say that? I've been down. I'm a my, I've been down on my luck for you know the last couple of years. I tried to find a job, but I couldn't find a job. Now I get food stamps. My rent is reduced, and every month because I had kids with this guy, I'm getting all his money to help me get by. This is all I can do. Some people are a victim of circumstance. And then they get stuck in that position, not knowing how to get themselves out. That's when the uh, reliability comes in. But still, say, okay, you're down on your luck. You have a hard time to find a job. Some so, people aren't afraid to ask for help, man. Huh? It's not, yeah. It's, well, you can't be, so some people are afraid to ask for help, but they're not afraid to take a check. It's given to them. It's given it's something them. they don't have to ask for. That, they, I, feel I like they, they feel like they're entitled to have you, that. You getting, you getting $1,000 a month just in child support, and you getting eight seventy five in food stamps. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm fine with that. I'm and, fine. You, and your rent is now $125 I'm fine. a month. If you got reduced rent, you got all this stuff. You got reduced rent. You're getting food stamps. You're getting child support. How long does that last? If your kids are going to school every day. As long as they... As your kids are going to school every day. You cannot tell me. You cannot tell me that somebody's not hiring. You can't tell me you can't find a, some type of job. People people don't look at it like that. They don't. And a lot of people think that it's... And again, 
if you've never been in this situation, for people who don't understand, the city, the government, they don't care about you once they put you on child support. No one cares about you. Once they put you on child support, it doesn't matter how much money you currently make. If it's not enough to cover what they think that you should cover, they just tell you to make more money. That's literally what they say to your face. Like, you should make more money. Doesn't matter if them taking this money is going to put you in poverty. Doesn't matter if them taking this money from you is going to make you live below your means. So now you're struggling to pay this money that is owed to somebody who isn't even grateful for getting it. That. Yeah, yeah. the grateful part, I guess, they don't necessarily have to be. But what I'm saying is, yeah. again, now they're taking half of my check. Again, let's go back. We'll, we keep using $10 an hour. We'll say I make. You know, five five fifty every check. So I'm at eleven hundred dollars a month. They they're splicing that in half. So basically, for me, you you got to live in an efficiency. <laughs> so, how do you you can't you basically can't survive? And then the person that so you're you, paying child support to <clears throat> is turning around and telling you, yo, that ain't even enough. I need more money because we need this, we need this, we need this, and we need this. And not only that, they don't even they don't even talk about the the part that the government gets. They don't even get the full check. The government gets their part, especially if you're in the rears. The government gets their part. See that, and that's what I don't understand. So, so, taxes, if you gonna, taxes. so if basically you, what happens is you work, the government taxes you. <laughs> they tax that money first. And then they take child support out of that money. And then they give you what's left over. So, so they take taxes out. They take Social Security out. They take Medicaid and Medicare out. And they take all these other things, FICA and Jim Doe and everybody, everybody you can think of, it all comes out of that money. And they say, here, buddy, here's what's left over. So for all those people going, oh, he don't want to work and he ducking a job. Most of the time when you get a job, it's not even worth having a job because you make no money. Zero. And, and see, I, and I, under, I completely understand what their intentions are. As far as the government, you know, okay, if the child is, you know, expecting this type of lifestyle, then should be able to have it. If you want to be, if you make an X amount of money, that child was living with you, they should expect that type of life lifestyle over there or wherever, you know. But it makes no sense for you to be taxed on that type of money. The government... We're paying taxes for that reason, for we to have these systems, you know, set in place, you know, to help us mediate or or, or whatever. Let me ask you something, because I just I just now thought about this. You're on the other side of this because you don't pay child support, do you? See, that's the that's the thing. I just now thought about that shit because had you, good sir, oh, good sir, I have split custody, good sir. I, I, I understand it. I understand it. That and. More power to you, but do you give? Do you give your child's mother money? And it, yeah, if I, I have it. Do you, did she ask? Is that, is that a monthly thing or is that here and there? No. So she <laughs> she is a great mother. I understand that. Hold on. Oh, no, let me let okay. me finish. Okay. Go ahead, sir. Go Dang. Ahead. Okay. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> so she says, "Hey, I need help with this." And understanding that I have another household to take care of, she says, give me what you can. Or she tells me way in advance, hey, you know, Marty's got a, you know, soccer tournament. It's going to be X amount of dollars. Can you help me out with buying his shoes or, or help me out with some, his spending money when he's out of town? Yeah. Okay. So now, if she had, and now she had words just different. She said, well, she said, you need to get me. Four hundred dollars on this day, no later. I need it right now. And we're, and we're gonna say she gave you a four days in advance. Uh, it can't happen. <laughs> I mean, what? It can't happen. Okay, but now, now you a sorry daddy because you didn't give her anything that she asked for. <laughs> now she's gonna turn around and she get to tell the kids that you know what? You can't participate in this particular thing because we asked your daddy, but he didn't have it, nor did he try to give you anything. That's so the kind of man you're dealing with. And so that's a, so that's the conversation I would take on. If anything happens, oh where, no no no, hold on. 
my brother, you don't get to defend yourself sure because enough. you don't get to see your kids now. now because yeah. you are sorry dad. But you get, are not providing. But but I have split custody. I get to see my <laughs> son anytime I want. Exactly. exactly. Oh, okay, okay. In in our situation. <laughs> well, if oh crap. Ugh. So I I understand that. No, you don't. You really don't. I do. I don't think you I do. do. You I see people. I see people go. Some, I see y'all go through it all the time. Somebody withholding your child for ransom is basically what's happening. I, they're, they're, look, your chip, it, we don't get the opportunity to. No one gives me the opportunity to say, "Hey, I make. I got a bonus this month. I make this month, and I make. I, I make good money. Let's let's put that out there. I make some decent money." So when my check comes, no one gives me an opportunity to go, you know what? I got XXX amount of money. I know they need this. I'm going to go ahead and do this off rip. Someone takes my money away from me every single month, and then someone tells me I'm the bad guy if I'm not giving more on top of that. Well, so two things. I do understand where you're coming from. And first, let me say it wasn't all roses when me and my... We know that. You had to fight for it. Yeah. yeah. And so, and I was blessed enough to get a judge that <laughs> saw the way. And then I was blessed enough that we started getting along after all the smoke, you know, the, you know, cleared. So, I mean, I'm, I know this is not, I'm not in a position where most men are. I just know that. Well, let me say this on the, there, I mean, of course, we know the system is flawed. I think there has to be govern. They have to govern both sides the same. If you're going to say, okay, um, if you're not paying child support, I could take you to jail. Boom. But then you go to the court and say, hey, I'm not getting my visitation. Well, go back to the court. That's wrong. And again, for those who think that you're on child support, you should be able to see your kid whenever you want to. It doesn't work like that at all. does not. Uh, basically, mm-hmm. what happens is, and um, we have both been through this, you can have a court order that says from 6 to 8, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I get my child. You then call the cops. Non-emergency, of course. They will meet you somewhere, and you show them the order, and they'll say, oh, Okay, you're exactly right, sir. Let's stroll over here together and get those kids for you. But guess what happens? They knock on the door and she says, nah, I'm not letting them come out. And they just give her a thumbs up and they walk away. They come back to you and say, hey, she decided she's not letting them out today, so this means absolutely squat and you have a good day. That's Basically, this is what happens to you. They're supposed to be held in contempt. They, of a court you, order. I mean, that's a court you order. You have to go and file a little bit. You got to go file every single time this and happens. I, I so this happens Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You have to be at the court at the time of your visit, and you say, you go, and you, it's like filing a police report. You basically say, hey, I went today. She didn't give me my kids. This is the order that says I have it. They take it from you. They take a copy. They write it down. They give you a slip that says, okay, you made a case. And now you get to collect these little stacks of paper that says that she didn't give you your kids. That, that's that's what I've, I've been through for 15 it's, years. It's trash. It's trash. And so I understand, you you know, hey, you see her out spending X amount of dollars on this or X oh, yeah. amount on, on that. But that's when I say... I mean, there should be a change in the system where if she can't provide for her kids, your kids, you know by much, herself. But you know how much proof you have to have? You shouldn't have to have any proof That's if she's so, taking in a government check and she doesn't have a job. You have to prove to the courts that she is unfit to take care of that child without a shadow it of should doubt. Be, it should be, <laughs> okay, if... if First if thing you, you have to do is request an audience with the court. So you got these... Like this guy said at the beginning, you have to... For anybody out there that's been through it or going through it, I know it sucks, but you have to know that you have a voice, and the only thing that you can do is pick at the system. You have to get it started. You have to stand up and start saying, like, this isn't right, and you got to start somewhere. And starting somewhere is you got to request an audience with the court, uh, and they will take you back to and child support court. You got to, I mean, if you can afford it, if you can stomach it, you got to get a lawyer. My friend went to court. No, he went to just a child support hearing. <laughs> just a child support hearing. And um, they they just told him it's going to be A, B, and C. He's like, I don't get no 
No saying this? Uh, no, this is not a negotiation. You don't get to talk? No one wants to hear from you. They taxed them, I, I want to say it was $700 for one kid. For one child. Which, I mean, and that's another thing I, I'll come back to. $700 a month. You know, and say his base pay is 2500 And you got to pay $700 for the child. You got to cover medical expenses. Then you got to cover life for yourself. <laughs> and then you have the mom... They're scraping by. It doesn't make any sense. But who's, whose fault is that? It's a court fault. I mean, it's a, it's a state. It's a state. Because if you're going to govern something, if you're going to if you're going to put a set of laws together, you can't be so one sided. But when is personal responsibility coming in this suit and accountability? Well, yeah, but everybody's going to go as far as they can go. If they if you can go to work every day in speed, cop sees you and never pulls you over. You're going to do it every single day. If somebody's looking at the law and says, I'm going to look at this part of the law and that'd be okay for this side, uh, but, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to weigh this, this law a little harder because, you know, oh, well, if you're not working, you can still go to jail for back child support, right? Yeah, yeah. which doesn't make any sense. And it still adds up while you're in yeah. jail for those six months. It adds up while it's in jail. They can, it, it they adds can up take your license. Unemployed. They can they can take your license. Uh, they can make it where you can't register for your car. Uh, <laughs> even worse, it shows up on your credit. Uh, late oh, payments. Yeah. Late payments is how credit looks at it. So if you're on child support and you just decide to stop making payments and you want to buy a house, you want to buy a car, guess what? Oh, It's going to show up quickly. I've, you, I've you're going to look like the bad guy. Working in the car business, a bank, bank will come back and say, hey, they got a you know, $20,000 judgment against them for child support. No, thank you. Or they say, okay, yeah, we're going to do the deal, but now we're going to hike your your, your interest rate your interest way up. And that's another topic. And it's but. because you have two things on there, student loans and child support. Yeah. <laughs> Credit is destroyed. <laughs> two things you did when you were young and dumb. <laughs> uh, being impulsive. Um, now, again, there's going to be people that go, Child support is needed, is needed, is needed, is needed. A lot of, I just think, there's, there's, there's too much gray area. Too much gray area, too much that we, the person, cannot control. Because, again, if I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do, but no one's forcing the other side to do what they're supposed to do, what's my incentive to keep paying? That's why a lot of these guys, they just they just get jobs under the table. They just stop working. They just choose not to pay because they can't survive. Yeah. <laughs> and you shouldn't be the bad guy because you can't, you don't want to live in poverty. You don't want to work for pennies on a dollar just because someone's taking half your money and not giving you the uh, opportunity to be a man. How's that for your kids, John? How's that for your kids? It's not about you. It's about the kids. You can't take care of somebody if you can't take care of yourself, sir. So, and, and I look at it both sides because you got you got dads that are deadbeats that don't take care of and you. True. got moms that are deadbeats. They get that child support and they do nothing with it. And then you they got dads that, with it. that do try to do everything they can, and then you got moms that are like, okay, I want to do this by myself, which is both are wrong. You know, you you can't a mom. As a mom, if you get custody of your kids, you can't do but you you didn't make the child by yourself. You can't raise especially boys, you can't raise a man to be a man. You can't and you can't show a woman, you know, your daughters how a man should treat you if you keep if daddy's not. In but you life. can't also now put in your child's head that this person is wrong because again, this it's not a ransom. You can't tell your child that your dad is terrible. He's horrible. He's a terrible person simply because he can't afford to give me what I asked for. That's not a. It's not fair. Well, the whole well, I asked for this. If you get in that check and you decide, say you decide, okay, my, they're going to play soccer, and you can't afford you paying child support and you can't afford the extra, then don't put your. As a mom, you can't fill your your kid's head up and say, okay, we're going to play this and we can't afford it. And then now that's daddy's fault. 
That's, I mean, that's, that's, that's what happens. That's I mean, exactly I, what I know. I know that. I know that's what happens. But I'm saying, you know, that situation. Women should be telling other women, you know, hey, that ain't cool. When they, when they, you know, because those type of women aren't quiet. <laughs> those type of women are telling everybody what, how much of a scumbag you are. Oh, most definitely. And they tell They they want everybody, and so. Women should be women enough to tell their friends, hey, you know, you're not working. Be thankful that you're getting this child support check and he's not fighting you every every minute he can to try to uh, get custody of, uh, you know, of his kids. Comes back again. <laughs> I, can't, I can't say this enough. You got to know that you have a voice and you got to try. But even when it sucks to try. You still got to try. I, I went through my all of, all three of our situations are different. Um, I went through a situation with with the mother of my kids to where she wasn't allowing me to see my kids, and I do pay child support and I've been paying child support. The only way that I could see my children, and this went on for hell, it's still going on. The only way I could see my kids was to go to their school and see them for lunch. That's the only time I had with my three children. So during the week, I would work, leave for work for an hour, rush across town, go to one of their schools, see them for 30 minutes for lunch, and that was it for the day, for that kid, for the week, and then go back to work. And that's all I got. And I don't feel like I did anything wrong, but again, I'm paying my child support, and... There's absolutely nothing. Well, there's some. I, I guess there is something I can do, but I mean, you feel defeated. I mean, you all you tried. I've, I've just I've never had the, I've people. never had the energy to fight this lady, man. Uh, it just years and years and years of her calling me sorry, her telling my kids I'm the worst, uh, her taking my child support money, claiming she's not getting my child support money, <laughs> seeing me in my face, and, and again just. Yeah, you feel defeated, man, and you just, I again, I get why people give up. I do. You know, like I, like you said, our stories are a little different. Like, mine was, I got put on child support, like I said, when he was two. Soon thereafter that, I didn't get to see my child for like eight months. I was calling her, texting her. I mean, I didn't just want to show up. I did a couple of times, but it didn't go so well. So, and then, uh, what did I do? Uh, she finally let me see him for Christmas. And she had another child, bought him Christmas presents, you know. And then maybe a month, two, two weeks after that, I didn't see him again for like six months. So I was like, you know what, I'm tired of this shit. So I was like, called the lawyer, got some consultation for free. And he just told me what I needed to do. So basically, whoever's going through this, you're going to have to start your visitation over again. <laughs> basically, you're going to have to document it, is what he told me. So I recorded myself, went by there and... I went by there about four times, five times, and the, five, the fifth time she actually showed up because she wasn't answer the door. And apparently she was moving and I didn't know it. She showed up and I asked for my kid. And, you know, I put that on Facebook. I don't know if anybody saw it about six years ago. And ever since then, I put it on Facebook and, you know, they tore her ass up, of course. And, you know, that got immediate responses. I, let me not let me rephrase that. I don't mean to. Because cause we're, we're cool now. I mean, we get along, we talk, and uh, and I'm grateful for that. But it took me to do that because I'm not one. Because some of y'all are kind of like me. You're humble. You're quiet. You don't want to really shake shake any trees to cause any confusion. Because you know, but you do want to see your kids. You do want to see your children. You love them. And you got to do whatever you got to do. So I took a different approach, and it worked for me. I don't mind paying child support. I don't care. But I want to do what's best for my kid. So. It, it's. I mean, it's a catch twenty two. Is it, it can, you can see it from both ways. Like you want to pay enough for your kid, but you also want to know that it's also going towards your kid, even though they got another child, and you're not. You know, you don't want to hate any kind of hatred or you know, say any kind of thing against a child. Take care of your kids, because that's what it's about. But don't use my money for other other crap. I mean, I want to know my kids are taken care of. If you got, if I'm giving you six hundred, five hundred dollars. A month from child support, and my kids aren't aren't in any activities and stuff like that. 
and he ain't, his clothes don't fit, and you still and you still broke, and you still asking me for money. Something's wrong there. He needs this. He needs that. Okay, well, where's my money going? Well, I paid this and I paid that. I understand that, but how are you? How, what are you living off of? How are you living? You know what I'm saying? As a parent, you should be providing shelter, at least shelter and clothing for my for my son. Well, that's that's food. That's something that's never spoke about. And food, you should be. That's what you, as a parent, that's what like. like if a kid lives with you, that's your fucking job. You don't get a reward for that. No one's going to praise you for that because it's what you're supposed to do. As a you, parent. As a parent, they're supposed to get food from you. They're supposed to get shelter from you. They're supposed to get rides back and forth to school. Like, like you don't... No one's high-fiving you for that. <laughs> you didn't do something special, okay? Yeah. For all of y'all, like, oh, I take care of my kids and, yeah, they like it back. Yeah, yeah, you do because that's <laughs> what you're supposed to do. That's your job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If my child was staying with me, I'd be doing the same thing. I'd find right. ways. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's and but that and that's the that's the issue there. You know, if what a, what about birthdays? The court is, is is child support is, is that is that covered in birthdays? What do you mean? Well, you, you pay child support every month, and then birthdays come up. Okay. Should extra money is is no. birth? I, I now that I don't agree. Okay, even though they do get that extra money, uh -huh. uh, even though their birthday month or whatever, mm -hmm. that's for their food and clothing and shelter and stuff okay, like let that. Let me let me paint one for you. Let's say you 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 what we say six hundred five hundred a month six hundred a month. You uh, you giving you it was seven you said you giving seven hundred dollars a month. Your kid's birthday come up birthday month come up. Uh, party is two fifty. You pay for that. I, this is what I would do. Uh, I would see if she wants to go. I pay for half of it. If she couldn't pay for it, if she absolutely couldn't, I'm like saying wouldn't, but couldn't, then I would. She looks right at you and says, "We got a lot going on this month. This is what your kids want. This, your kid wants this party at this place, and this is how much it is. I went and reserved it. All you got to do is show up and pay." So and now not only do you got to pay for that, but you got to bring gifts too. This is this is the question: If the child was live with you, and you didn't have it, what would you do? We'd have to make other arrangements. It'd be some other kind of party. If you don't have it, you don't have it. And that's so what, so that's... if if you're the planner, if you are the planner, you don't have it, you don't have it. I've don't been, be planning it. I've personally been in this situation. Where I'm blamed and I'm the bad guy because mom set something up, not having any money and expected me to pay for it. Don't plan it. I didn't have. You don't have it. it. Don't plan it. Period. That's that's an easy that's an easy thing. If, I, don't know, I, got, I got a different relationship with my son. I'm pretty honest, and I'm I'm blessed to have a son that's very very humble. If he says that, it's okay if you can't give me this. It's okay. He'll tell me. My kids feel like that now. They so, and so he's always well, been that kind of... And, and kids stay kids for so long. And then they start maturing and understanding how... Not necessarily how finances work, but how money works. You know, you get so much comes in, so much goes out. If you can't if have you just, it, you don't have it. If, if you just... You're five years old and you just spent the next six years listening to your mom saying... Well, we'd be able to do this if your dad just paid child support. We'd be able to do this if your dad would pay the child support. I'd have the money to take you here if your daddy just paid the child support. Well, I know you saw your daddy and maybe he gave you $10, but that ain't the child support. And the only reason why we got to move this week is so I didn't get that child support. Oh, they taking my car now. I didn't get that child support. Your daddy, he owed me money. It's, so for, it's so, now, it's, it's, so it's, now you as a kid, you grew up, you're 11, 12, you looking at your dad like, damn, dad, you owe mom some money. Mom said, the reason why I live the way I live, the reason why I don't have video games, the reason why I'm not participating in things, the reason why I'm not going places, the reason why my life has been hell, it's because you, Dad, you didn't pay anything. You ain't been paying child support you're supposed to pay. Yeah. Son. Did you look at children? Son, if it was so bad over there, why don't your mom let, me, let you come live with me? You're 11 years old now. You have a choice. Do you want to come live with me? Because mom, mom says you're a terrible person, Dad. I don't want to stay over there well, with do you. Well, it, it's, it's, you have that arms comes 11 years old is a, is a my bright son, edge. My son is 12, and he hates me most of the time. He's heard for years from his mom that I'm just like, 
this god awful person. Now the other ones they don't feel like that. But my son, I can't tell him anything. He just feels like well, I owe his mama a gajillion dollars, and his life would be so different if I would just give it to her. Eventually, you know. That's why you gotta. I mean, I have done the humblest thing ever. Like I said, do you understand how hard it is to you see your seat buckle? <laughs> <laughs> to see your kid for thirty minutes at a time, thirty minutes on their lunch while I go back to lunch. I gotta sit in my car and cry, my guy, because someone's keeping me from my kid, and I can't do shit about it. I haven't talked shit about this lady. I haven't done anything. I don't interfere in her relationships. All I do is give her money and try to see my kids, and she interferes with that. That shit hurts my feelings to my core, and I still don't fight her. That's why I keep reiterating, you need to know that you have a voice, because I don't fight this lady. But, I mean, then, you let it go off the rails, then. So is, is my fault that this got out of control? Kinda. What? I've if done. You, if, I've done the. I've done the small necessary thing. You haven't went to court. The court you told have, me to shut up and pay. That's what court told me. I've been to court fight, twice. Shut up. Shut up and pay. You don't have a voice here. I've I've had. When when so, all of our di situations are different. Right. The very first judge. That interfered in, you know, I guess our co-parenting put a six-month custody, uh, I mean, um, what's it called? Protective order against me. Oh, so you couldn't see your kid? For six months. And I'm in the courtroom. I remember we had an argument outside the house. I get off. Of, I mean, I get off of work late. I go to pick up my son. Father Day, uh, Father Day weekend. I'm late. I'm a little late because I'm at work. I get caught up with a customer. I get to the house. We have an argument at the house because I'm late. End up doing something. I, I snatch my son up and just and just pretty much run. Because I was supposed to be there to pick him up anyway. <clears throat> Police are called. They talked to. Oh, you know, for all of us listening, uh, you find him, snatch your son up. You just grab him. You can, like, literally snatch him and, like, hurt him or something like that? No, 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 no. No, I mean, so, so the door. You, you, you we're, the... we're arguing. Uh -huh. We're arguing. I force the door open, grab him, because my son's sitting there. I see him through the window. <laughs> I see him through the window. I grab him. You know, force the door open, grab him, and bounce out. Police were called. No charges were pressed. The police were at my mom's house. Next day, I get picked up. They put a million dollar bond out for me. A million. I had a million dollar bond. And judge wouldn't listen to a single thing I said. I said, just look at my phone. I got it on me. Look at the text message. I was supposed to be there. Judge tells me I can't just go kidnapping my son. I was like, dude, one, I was supposed to be there. Two, law says if there's nothing on paper, the parent, the parent that has the child is the custodial parent. Right. That threw it. He threw that out the window. And so I'm in jail. I get out. They hit me with the six months. You know, uh, no, I was right. I was in front of the judge, and he says, "I'm gonna put a six months protective custody order on you." And I just start bawling. I put, and my son is like I said, Father's Day weekend. I think my son was two, maybe, or about to turn two, and. Uh, so, I immediately, and I should have got a lawyer. That's why I say get a lawyer. If y'all having any type of situation, get it on the books immediately. And for those, again, who can't afford those things, I think if you dial uh, 211, um, they should be able to direct you to some free services because there are free services out there. So, don't think that you have to get a paid lawyer because there are, got, yeah. there are some free legal representations. You just got to... You know, do a little, do a little homework, do a little research, and you can, you can find them. 
But that 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 judge there, if it was up to him, I'd probably never see my son. So they, they put that protective custody on me for six months, couldn't see my child, um, hit me with some ridiculous charge. Long story short, I got a judge that listened to it and actually listened to everything, looked at the text messages and gave me split custody. So documentation one is everything. You gotta be you gotta stay documented. But I mean, I could have like I could have stopped. I could have I could have not fought, you know, for my son. And I wasn't even I wasn't even necessarily you know, looking for split custody. I just wanted my son. I was. I wouldn't mind. I didn't mind paying child support. I wanted my son when she was at work. I didn't want to babysit and have him. I wanted to have him. You know, in my possession. Right. If she's at work, fine. If she got a different job, and you know, she worked regular hours, cool. And so that's what actually what the um, court order ended up being. That if she got a different job. Went to standard custody. Um, if she had the job where she had her cycle four days on, four days off, I had my son when she did when she was at work. But I mean, it cost me an arm and a leg, borrowed money, pawn stuff. I mean, I wasn't making a ton of money in, in the first place. But I mean, I er, think... and that and that early onset, that early, early, early. You know, stages when we broke up, you know, feelings are evolved and stuff like that. And But if I did not keep going, if I didn't keep trying to fight, that, that judge, I don't want to say his name. I don't want to smear him, but I hate that dude. Because he didn't, <laughs> he didn't take a minute to even listen to what was going on. He didn't care. He didn't, didn't, honestly didn't look at the police report you know, from the day before, and then, you know, but if, you got to keep fighting. I think for me, since the beginning, I never wanted court involved. I never wanted cops involved. I never wanted, I never wanted a huge fight because people, you pretend like you don't love these people, but you do. I you have to say that you you've been through so much with a person, and you you love this person, and you think like, damn, like me and this person, we should be able to talk. At some point, she's gonna stop being mad at me, and things should be all right. Like we should be able to come to each other. Like I've known her for a long time. At some point, I'm gonna be able to sit across from her and go, hey, let me get my kid, and I'm gonna roll out. This is this is my thought uh, for a very long time. I obviously don't think that way now. Uh, you know, we talked about before, you know, you, because we, me and my ex, we did the custody thing without paper for a while, you know. And uh, that's one of the things that actually kind of helped me because, you know, that routine was already established. I just want to say real quick, you, you're a blessed man. <laughs> Bruh. Thanks because he likes me. <laughs> Definitely because he likes me. <laughs> but we, but, um, you know, you feel a lot of people, I think a lot of men don't, and women always are picked as the emotional ones. But men, I think men are more emotional than women. Yeah, we're emotional. Yeah. Because you don't learn for a long time how to say, yo, this shit hurt my feelings. That's, because that stigma. And and, mm -hmm. and so when a situation like that happens, women are excellent at shutting most a, a lot of women, let me say that, is shutting off love and turning on hate. They can they can do that quick. Uh yeah. My BM did it very well. Mm -hmm. So they, they're they're able to do that, you know. Shut off love and, 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 and cut on hate. And men, you know, we sitting there. Cause a lot of, a lot of, I didn't want to fight and argue. I gave up. Yeah. I gave up everything. Cause I, it was, I felt guilty for my part. 
I felt I felt so, I felt some guilt. You do. Yeah, I felt <laughs> guilt for you do. for the reason why we split. I felt guilt for all the things, you know, because I had remorse for that stuff. She had some anger, you know, and probably some people. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but women in general, just not talking about my situation, but you, you, you can see it on Facebook. Men are not posting too often about how shady their baby mama is. But you can read, you can catch a post every once a week at least. And your circle doesn't even have to be that big about how who somebody's baby daddy is a, a, a dog and he ain't doing this or he cheated. Women cheat just as just as much. We don't ever have that conversation, but no, for we whatever, actually haven't had that. We haven't had something that we'll talk about later. Yeah, <laughs> but that's the, they're able to do that. Turn on that hate, and guys are sitting there like, and they and they left this time period where you can actually accomplish something. Because routine matters, and I, I think I think also the courts look at that routine matters. So if you come back three years later and say, "Hey, I want, you know, I want my visitation, or I want my split, I want split custody, or or whatever," no, a routine is already in place, and they say they don't look at that. Well, a routine with the baby mom is already in place. That don't matter. It does. I promise want, you. You know, you hope you want split custody. That is one of the hardest things to get as far as uh, other than uh, full custody. You still, she has to, and your baby mama has to agree. They're not just going to give that to you. And you still got to prove routine. You write routine does matter. In routine the matters. For you, not between you and her. Huh? Yeah. You know what I'm well, that, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. As, as, so well, that's what I'm saying. If you let that, if you let that time period go, they say, okay, you're the dad. You wasn't in, the, in, in in your child's life for three years. Now you want to pop up? Uh-uh. That root, I, and this, I'm just guessing. I don't know what the judge or, or 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 what the law says about it. But that's that routine. I, I it, it you know because if you, I see guys that that are able to well, get that visitation. Well, let me ask you this: You say you haven't been in the child's life for three years. What if the mother was keeping you from that child? You would have to prove that. You know how hard that is to prove? Yeah, I mean, you're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Fighting at the beginning matters. Again, this is why we understand that a lot of people are said defeated. A lot of guys give up. And I'm not saying that's right, but I understand why people do it. I'm going to keep saying this. You got to know that you have a voice. And you got to keep trying. If, if I can go... This man can go months. This man can go months to keep fighting. If I can do, you know, 30 minutes of lunch and still fight, you, you guys can do it. Um, One quick question. Because we, we were talking about money, $700, this, that, and the other. How much is too much child support? I don't think that's a... <laughs> I don't think there's no cap on that. What do you, I mean... Are you for the average person? Well, not even for the average... Yeah, not even for the average person. I'm talking about you get celebrities divorce. Who needs a million dollars a month in child support? Me. <laughs> Want it all. But that but but jet that, skis, <laughs> boats. That's what I'm saying. That's where I am like it comes in when I'm like, you know, but if that if that if you try to have that child have that type of lifestyle, sit it with the person that can give them that lifestyle. But you're thinking them. of your own mindset though. That's not I mean that's kinda of not fair because the way we grew up. See, we grew up in the hood and stuff like that, so we didn't grow up with very much money. But so we're not used to that. What he's saying is, if you have a million dollars to give every single month, why not take the kid? Why? Why? <laughs> why do yeah. you not have the so, kid? Just, just so even even <laughs> if you go if you go down to seven hundred dollars a month, and baby mama's still struggling because that's not seven hundred dollars is still a lot of money because it's not up to the child; it's up and, to the mother. Okay. Seven hundred dollars is a lot of money to some kids. people. There's two kids. I mean, there's two kids. There's two parties. Right. But you know, this is a you know, whenever it comes to child support, they always pretty much side with the mother. Texas, especially in Texas, it's a mother state. They're going to side with her no it's matter a how. Mother. <laughs> no matter how much money you have, no matter you still have to prove that you're the better parent for them to stay. Money is not always the issue. And, and 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 again, yeah, the older that. the kids get, they've been in this routine for so long. 
if questioned, they're not going against their mom. They're not going to say, okay, yeah, I've been over here with moms for a while, but if I go with dad, it's going to be better. I, I've i seen it. I worked with a dude. His kids turned. He waited till both of them turned uh, uh, at least 10. He waited till both of them turned 10. He would have standard visitation, went to court, got custody of his kids at 10. They wanted to go with. They wanted to go with that. It, I, I understand these Again, are like outline. These are these aren't like everyday. These are the exceptions and not the rules. But it, it can happen. <laughs> it can happen. It can, he was you, white, wasn't he? Mexican dude, uh-huh. or actually Indian. Oh, they I had. Think. They had to do that. <laughs> <laughs> like Native American Indian, not like East Indian or yeah. That's why I keep. I'm gonna keep saying you got to know again that you have a voice. You have to keep talking. You got to keep fighting. Um, and I think for some of the women, <laughs> yeah, I gotta lighten up. Don't tell me that. No, no, no. It's because some of it is warranted. We're not talking about that aspect either. Some of it. Some people are. I'm just speaking and, and, as far and it as comes up, and it comes. I, I'm speaking purely from financial aspects. For guys, they rape your check and you cannot survive. If someone is telling you that they don't have it, nine times out of ten, it's because they don't have it. It's not because they got some secret cave of money that they bury in all this extra cash in and they just don't want to give it to you. You have no idea what it's like to work a minimum wage job where your check would normally be 400 every two weeks and you only getting $137 because it's getting raped. So now you at what? Two two sixty two seventy per month for money wise, you got, and you got to survive off that. Yeah, especially high, for somebody that doesn't smoke or drink. And you got two households that are living off of the government now. But well, okay, no, wait. But no man so wants to do that. No man wants to do that. Can you? Can you get live off the government? What do you mean? Say all right. If you say oh my. Child support is taking too much of Oh, them. oh no, 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 you my can't? brother. They go off gross. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. They go off gross. So no, you can't, you can't even get none. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, oh, that's all. That's when, so cool. The only thing you can do is work multiple jobs and or stay at one job long enough to where but then, it balances out. But Sometimes, then you don't want to get the standard visitation on it makes sense. It does. Because you, you work in multiple jobs. We know. It's a lose-lose yeah. for the dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm talking to you. Okay. No, my bad. And again, if you go back to court, usually what they tell you is make more money. <laughs> I've seen it. I've thrown. I've literally thrown a fit in child support court. I've, I've been told to sit down, be quiet, stop talking, or it's going to get worse. And I told her, like, how, how the hell am I supposed to survive? Like, look at these numbers. I'm not making this. I'm not gonna make this. I can't. I can't survive off this. Not by myself. You know, this, this is probably this is off topic. But going off gross, you know, a lot of you know institutions and stuff like that go off gross. You don't yes. see none of that money. I know that. And <laughs> that gets, that that's one of the reasons why people get in so much debt because they look at your gross, say, okay, you making six thousand dollars a month, right? You can afford this two thousand dollar house payment, right. this, these two thousand dollar car payments, right. and insurance, and feed yourself, and then still live the life you think right. you should be living, making six thousand dollars a month. Right. Now you go crazy up because you had so much extra shit that was in it, and then it took all your money. You didn't make that actual money. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I guess again, it's a good stopping point. I guess I, I don't think you know. In conclusion, I don't think child support should be used as a ransom. No. I think that people would be better suited if they were left to their own choices as far as giving money. And, I, and again, I'm not going to say that there's not some debbies out there because there are. But at least for me and some of, some of the guys that I know that are good guys, I could do so much more if I got all of my money. If my whole check came to me, I would be better off to take care of myself and not only take care of myself, but to be able to help out in several different departments. I know we're winding down, but what? We're getting into what ifs. I know this, this, this is just an imaginary situation. I like hypotheticals. 
what if they change the system where like to a merit system where if you're getting your child consistently you know they'll cut your back child support you know child your back child support you mean like getting them like other than say if you were actually showing that you're trying to be a parent and you in your that child's life because you still have to even with child support going out you as a father get no type of help <laughs> so no if they, and then if you're on back child support well, that's another thing i didn't mention these fools tried so when not when when i went to court and we're we got uh before we went to court we're trying to go through a mediator and uh this this lawyer no was it the lawyer I think it was child support court. They talk about, well, we got to see if it's admissible. Let's see if, because uh, I was paying her. Once we separated, I was instructed by my my lawyer, hey, um, he, I told him how much I made. He kind of, or you know, wrote out what I should I, I should be paying, and I was paying her money orders. Had a receipt. He said, you give her a money order, you give me a copy. You give her a money order, you give me a copy. So I did that. And so once we finally, I think it took like maybe seven months or something like that. These fools immediately hit my check. Once we got it through the court, they immediately hit my check for back child support. And yeah. I had to, and I had to go, I had to go to my lawyer to tell him, hey, you know, you know, they pull him up, and and then the then the child support court was like, well, let, let, we have to ask her to see if it's a miss, uh, if she's going to let you uh, count it. And luckily, I had a lawyer because I would have been just stuck, you know. Because the yeah, they actually said, "Oh, my lawyer came up there with receipts of every single payment," and they were like, uh, "Well, we gotta let to see if she's gonna count it." If you're doing your job, how is I even legal? If you're doing your job as a father, how is I even, you know, the because they're. <laughs> And, he, and again, we're, we're winding down. So it's something yeah. else we didn't really touch on. You don't need much of anything to say, but buddy, you're the father. So now I'm gonna just start taking your money. Yeah, I was telling somebody this at work. The you other don't day, need like, anything. Is she? She, she, she can say like you're the daddy of my kid and put your name on the shit. And you won't be on child support. And they won't and even. Have, they won't have, even yeah. stop taking it until you go to like you literally have to fight them, even after you get the DNA test and say. <laughs> I'm not the daddy. You have to fight them. Just and they don't give you money back. They won't reimburse you. You nope. just out of the money. It's 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 a crooked system. It's a sick system. It's it's a crooked <laughs> system because they because what they're doing is taking their part out of it. Also, I know that we know that it's it's money. I don't that they think use. some of the mothers do know that though. If you put them on back shots, where they don't even see all that. They don't see none. Of, they don't see all of that money. But again, a lot of them got this mentality. Oh, I'm gonna get my money. He owed me money. Yeah, he's he gonna be paying me until he to the kids are 38. Right? It's not owed. It's an obligation by the father or the or the parents. I think it's they not do something more. that you owe anybody. I think they do the it more out of spite than the well being of the child. Yes. So it's again, not. That's why child support is not for everybody. Child support shouldn't. I know unpopular opinion. Opinion. <laughs> you can't make it mandatory for everybody. It has to be case by case. I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, I think. I don't, if you father no, if you father the child. If you father the child, I'm not and you're in your child's life, you're helping out, you're showing up, you dropping them off, you picking them up, you part of sports, you part of feeding, you part of roofing, you part of shoes, you part of Christmas, you part of birthdays. And then that goes back you, to what you said earlier. You, you don't you, get a reward for that. Well, that's that's what I said. It should be in my. <laughs> it should be a merit system. It should be you go into court. You, that's what you're supposed to be doing. It yeah. is what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now you, now you pat yourself on the back. I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saw a pat. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be extra punished for doing your job. Like for guys like us, for guys like me and you that do our jobs and we still have to go through extra stuff, jump through extra hoops just to see our kids. That's wrong. That, that aspect, is, yes. But now you, you were solely talking about the pain part, right? Right. 
Okay, if you're doing all that, I mean, that's you're but, supposed to be doing all that. But if if the on, but the, flip, on the flip side, none of that stuff is I, if, if I go missing, if I say, you know what, you had this kid by yourself, you do it by yourself, and I'm out here. I have an obligation you, you to know, take care. They should be seeking me out you to know take what? money. But you know what? It'd be a dope system if, uh, say, you came up with a spending card. Everything that everything for the child is on that card. You know, diapers, wipes, food, formula, whatever, the electric bill, and that you pay this month and you contribute, and and that way you're not automatically on child support, but you are you're supporting and you're you're supporting your child, and saves, you know, x amount of dollars a month. There's gonna be there's but, gonna be somebody that says it don't matter what she spend the money on. It's your job to give her money and she to use it as she sees but, fit. But but yeah, but that's that's cool there. But if you if she has the money to do the other stuff with it, then she use that money to do other stuff with it. Just like a food stamp card, you can't go buy clothes with it. See, that's no. Nope. But you can buy some fancy ass steaks with it. That's another but, thing. A steak is still food, right? He's right. You know, you, uh, it, uh, that's another discussion about people getting upset about. And I guess it goes along with people. People get upset about what they spend those assistance on. They're just like, oh, well, they eat steak. Well, do you have to eat rice and beans just because you're poor? Well, let me ask you this: If you, if she has, she spends your money on get on the child support and getting her na- hair and nails done, right? The, the mom, finish. yeah. Let me finish. But she just, she was waiting on your on your child support check that comes on like the six, but she needed to pay. Which you you pay her three hundred dollars. If she needed to pay two hundred dollars to a school for something or her sports for something, which you know what I'm saying, which was due on the fourth. Now she used her money for that, but then she used her uh, your money for getting her hairs and hair and nails done. I mean, is that cool? <laughs> I mean, is, is it that, is it is it cool? I mean, I'm I'm on both sides of that. So I, because but that's how that's, I that's, how, I, that's yeah. how I feel. You but, know, that's again, cool. That's, that's but that's I another think, one of them catch twenty two things because a part of me does understand that like if the money is going, it's it's a whole, it's it's a network, so to speak. So if you just put money into this fund that's going to be divided throughout this household, I don't have a problem with that. So. When you then you then that comes with then your hair dic- done, then you're dictating. Nails, yeah, you can't. Dic- I mean, now, you can't dictate what she does with the money. Now that yeah, now that you don't want to, now that you don't want to be with her, you gonna try to tell her how to spend her money? That's not what I said. That's not. No, 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 I'm not trying to twist it for I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, just, that's I, I, that's how it can come off. Just like a nice skin nigga, <laughs> some shit like nah, this, wow. no, 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 no. But that's how it can come off. Like oh now you want to tell me how I can spend my money? I want to spend my money any type of way. But it's not your it's not her money though. It's, it's the child's money. It's for the household. No, it's for the child, not it's the house. It's for the household. If it's for the household, then why they why, then why they call it child support? Because you support that household. No, you're supporting you support that, that child. No, they, they, they just because they call it just because they call it child support doesn't mean it's not meant for something else. So okay, so let me ask you this. So if you're supporting that household, right? I'm giving my baby mama six hundred dollars on a month. She can't afford her rent. So my child support is paying for her rent. Is that then why does she stay there? Then why, she's supposed to be able to provide that, But for that it. goes back to my thing where I say if she can't support if she's living off of that That's the household. You just said. But I say if she's living off of that, then you should put the child with the but parent that can provide. That's the how. That's considered the household. You just said. Are you going to contradict yourself? No, I'm not contradicting. Okay, myself. then tell me. I'm saying the money can do for whatever in the household. It's for that child. Listen to well. Listen to what I'm saying. Okay. The money go for whatever in the household. Whatever in the household. But on the on the other hand, your child like is I in said, there. Hold, she has multiple kids that are in there, and she has a husband, and they're still broke. That's what I said at the early in the conversation. Where I said, if she can't support the child like like the father can, or the father can't support the child like the mother can, the parent that should that can that can support the child properly should have custody. But that's not up for you to decide, though. And that never works anyway. How, why not? How does that not work? That's your opinion. 
It's definitely your opinion. How's that not work? And it's the reason why a lot of these people literally spend years on government assistance and milking child support. They look at it if the child's not malnourished or dead. You ain't you don't don't matter. But I'm saying it shouldn't be like that. I'm saying if But you just but you just who, defended who are, who are you? Except the random on random on repeat. I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying twofold. The money goes to the household, whatever you pay. Just like Wick. It's supposed to be women and children. The dad <laughs> eats the food too. Goes for the household. Just because the name is something doesn't mean it, it, it can't go to the household. So, if you if you're on government, and this is my first my first point was if you're on government assistance and you are in the you're on government assistance and you are relying on that child support to live, you should not the, the other parents should be able to have custody. Okay, so all right, let's say this. Let's say <laughs> That okay, he he goes to the household. She's using that six hundred dollars for rent. But my son's wearing Bungle Boys. I don't know what that is. Tiny Tunes. Tiny Tunes, yeah. But well, he's wearing I I don't care what kind of as long as he's wearing stuff he can fit. But let's say he doesn't have any clean clothes. I mean, I mean not necessarily clean, but you no know, doesn't really fit. But the household's taking care of. He may have. I mean, they eating beans and rice for dinner. I mean, he's eating, but you know, is she very, is she working? No, that's why. I just, that's my thing. If she's not working and the kids are at school all day, what is she doing? She just had another kid, so she's taking care of her baby. And that money that you're giving is for the household, so it's for everybody, all right. her other kids too. Yours, your kid, and she's not getting any other child. Kids. Let's say she's not getting then, any, other, any other child support. The husband that she has or the boyfriend she has, those kids are his. Mm-hmm. Okay, only, is only, he is he working? Doesn't matter. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Because if you, matter. if you live, money, no, if you live, it, if they're both living off the government, why the heck? Not then, up. then you have. Why? Why don't you have your hey, child? Why you care? Your money's going towards the household, right? And you, you're you, your dad. You care because hey, you're a parent. Hey, your job is to support your kid. That's it. You can't say we're going to this other house. I understand that. You have no say so in there. I understand that. You have no say so, but you, as a parent, can say, "Hey." I could do better than what she's doing. How are you gonna prove that? Hello, Mr. Because court she's living she's living off the government. <laughs> Mr. Court system, is, I'm a guy and I want your my kid. kid. Alive? <laughs> is your kid alive? Is he eating? You, is he have clothes? That's all they And I'm not about. saying living off the government is a bad thing or if you have people get trapped into it. I understand that. But what I was saying is <laughs> if you're if if you're not contributing to the household that you're living in, why do you have my child? That, again, that's it, that's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. It's not irrelevant. It, it is. is. It's very irrelevant. No, it has nothing to do with anything. Why? Why not? It I'm, not, not I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about how things it, are. It, hold on, hold on. I'm not talking about how things are. I'm talking about what actually makes sense. Oh, that's a whole nother conversation, yeah, my guy. But that's that's what I'm talking about. What we talk about one thing that's making sense. To do, and then other other thing is reality. And now the reality is, it doesn't matter what that child support check is going to, as long as it's going to the but household. You, you only see it that way because of your situation. No. Yes. yes. How? Because well, you're you, not paying child support, <laughs> right? It doesn't matter where your money's going to because you have you have them have right, and you know not, exactly where your money's going to. You're not in a to. terrible situation. You and her are still cool. You know exactly where your money's going because you're spending it on him. You're not going weeks, months at a time without seeing your kid. You're not you're not facing a different person every time you knock on the door think, or every time you call. I don't think you're hearing what I'm saying. I don't think you're hearing what I'm saying. I, I think I think you think we're, we're I think we're saying the same thing, but you're thinking I'm saying something different. I I, I completely understand. Oh, you profess X now. You I know com- exactly what you think. I completely understand what is right and what is wrong in the Talk situation. About. So yeah. I'm talking about reality, and then I'm talking about what it should be. So you know. You can't triple stamp or double stamp. But you can quadruple stamp or double stamp. Lloyd. And you can wake up dead. <laughs> I told you. These these light skin vibes are killing my dark skin mood. <laughs> do, do you know what I'm saying? I'm saying at, at one end, reality. It doesn't matter because it's going to the household. I'll on the other, what you're hold on. down. 
on the other end, I'm saying I'm agreeing with both of you about it does matter as far as money, this, that, and the other, but that's not reality. And I take it a step further saying if the if it's not going to what it's supposed to go to, then you should have the right to have your child. Last thing, should child support be a thing? And if it is, how should we regulate it? Go. Child support should be a thing. Child support should be a WIC card similar type deal. They do have They it. have that. Like a food stamp card. They but do. see, he doesn't know anything. I don't know anything. <laughs> They have but, but 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 it should be linked directly to your bank account, and you have a max limit spending limit all in a month. What? What? And can they take that? Why not? What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Disclaimer here: the uh, rules on the uh, random on. I don't know how you child support a, works. You gonna put a cap? <laughs> you gonna put a cap on what your child needs a month? What is child support? Okay, what is child support? Hey, what are you talking about? It's I'm a quick. cap on what your child needs a month. No, you said you wanted a cap on it. On the card. No, you pay amount. That's what I'm saying. I didn't know there was an actual card. Yes, there no, is a card. Yeah, you pay. So, you, okay, that's what I'm saying. You pay a certain amount. They check. And then you just try to put a cap on that certain amount a month. I mean, we're going to talk about taxes, but this no. card took all so of our time. What are you talking about? I'm then? saying a free flowing card. It is a free, free flowing card. card. Yeah. It's just like a fucking credit card. But yeah. she can't overcharge it, can she? What do you no, know? There's money on it, so there's yeah. a cap on it but, already. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna edit this one. No, no, we're not. Not edit, no don't edit that. Who's the editor? <laughs> okay, let's just get cut. Nah. <laughs> so again, lastly, should child support be a thing? And if it is, how do we regulate it? Hold on, let me go because I'm editing that. Don't edit. So, it. Seriously, don't edit. Child it. support should be a thing. I think this should be. I think, uh, I think this act. I think there should be a cap on child support. I, I think based, so, on, based on what? Based on like as how much you can pay a month. Yeah, or, I, I think uh, I, I think if you a millionaire, you should be paying a million dollars in child support. That's crazy. Ten thousand, ten thousand dollars in child support they is do it crazy. Based on how much money you make. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't matter. A child still costs the same amount of money to raise. No, it doesn't. How? Because they look at it like. Like, like lifestyle, lifestyles yeah. of the children are different. The then that child should be with the lifestyle the, provider. The neighborhood that I live in is different than the neighborhood you live in. The school that I choose to put my child in is different from the school that you choose to put your child in. The type of clothes and shoes that my kid wear are way different from the type of uh, school. How do you know? School. Because it is. That's how it is. Yes. Our, our kids wear all the same clothes. No, they don't. No, they don't. What are you talking about? My kids wear the same clothes as y'all kids. Our kids, maybe, but other kids, no. What are you talking about? My kids like LeBron. I've seen the KDs your son wear. He's smart. We've already, we've already figured out that he is on a different wavelength. Because <laughs> he likes KD. LeBron's cost different than <laughs> KD's. So, again, my kids wear different things than your kids. So they got my, my youngest is two, and he's completely fine with Ike's. So, uh... That's what he wears. Those he, Oscar he's also special. fine with calling his daddy Broby. Broby, Broby. Did, he calls you Broby? Hell no. <laughs> Y'all should just call me that. He calls me daddy. That's the uh, call you daddy. I guess, guess for me, what? I, I do think that... Uh, Lake. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think child support is a thing. I think it should be in place. But again, I, I stand firm on it should be maybe, it's got to be regulated better. Maybe And maybe saying it uh, case by case is wrong, but not every situation is the same. And I think that we need a system in place to recognize that because not every guy is the same, not every person is the same, not every situation is the same. And if you are trying and you have been trying and someone is standing in your way, there needs, there needs to be something that, as much as it takes you out of the field, there needs to be something that, that tries just as hard to put you back. It, it needs to be equal across the board is, is, is my final thought on that. Sure. And, governed the same. And I agree to what Martin said earlier. If you show that you're being a better father or even a better mother, you're, you're proving yourself even if you're on drugs or something like that, you kicked it, you've been clean for a year, two years, you got a job, you're doing everything you're supposed to do, you're picking the kid up, you're doing all this extra stuff, or not, not necessarily extra stuff, but... You know, you're going out of the way for your child, even though that's what you're supposed to be doing. 
but you're showing that you're the parent that you're supposed to be doing. I think that they, they should readjust it. They should, they should give you split custody, you know what I'm saying, or joint custody, or however, however it works. I mean, I think they should they should take all that into consideration, not just take your money because they can, because they don't want to have to deal with it, and because they want the court, well, they want the money. It's not fair to a better parent. I'm not saying that. I mean, yeah, a better parent. You, you. Some people, some parents are better than others, and that's just facts. I mean, some people may not want to hear that, but you may not be a better parent, a good as parent as you think you are. I mean, everybody has their flaws. I mean, I know I could be a better parent. I mean, but that's how you know you're yeah. doing something. That's how you know you're doing something good, though. All those parents out there that think they're failing. That's because you want better for your kids, and that's a good feeling. So you now I'm saying that humbles us. So at the same time, I don't know, man. Child support is just one of those things that I want to make sure that my child is taken care of. And I can't govern what's going on in, in somebody else's household. I don't, I because I don't know, and I'm, nece- I'm not necessarily afraid to ask, but I don't feel like I feel like it's out of my <laughs> jurisdiction to ask her. Hey, uh, what are you doing with the money I'm giving you a month? As long as my kid's alive and taken care of, I mean, and I talk to him and he says he's doing just fine, but, you know, for, and he's with her most of the time. And just like John was saying earlier, for a kid to stay with the primary parent, they are easily manipulated and brainwashed. So you might, they might tell you that they're doing good because that's all they know. Even though you think differently or you know as a parent because some parents they know that their child's not really doing all that good or that they can do do better with that being said you you're the parent that can do have uh that can treat them better and have a uh, a better living lifestyle for them because what they're going through is not very because they think it's normal for them to stay where they're staying and have all this yeah Man, crap everywhere Man ain't sandwiches was normal to me what Man ain't sandwiches I know you gotta have me. Are you mixed? No. no. He's a neighbor. You I, see, this, you see these a, locks? I was a syrup sandwich man myself. Go ahead. Yeah, syrup sandwich. Yeah. That's why you got diabetes. Uh, <laughs> syrup. I fuck around, but I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> syrup, butter, tortillas. No? Um, tortillas? Yeah. Are you cubing me? <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. Um, uh, and again, lastly, again, like you said, and I, and I, I want to keep doubling down. And I've said it, you know, fifteen times. You guys, you have a voice, and you gotta, you gotta keep trying. If you heard nothing else from this, we all love our kids, and we all want them to be taken care of. We just want things to be done fairly. I don't mind paying child support. He doesn't mind. None of us mind taking care of our kids we just know that some people use that and again as ransom because that's what it is it's pay me and then maybe you'll be able to get your child or maybe you'll be able to see your child and I completely understand that a lot of you guys again don't want to work for pennies on a dollar you can't survive making no human wants to go to work for 30 days and get 200 and something dollars you just don't want to do that um, but I do advise like I said there's some free Free things that you can do. There's places that you can go and get some advice. Um, you got to start somewhere, and I do advise trying. You, you, trying never gets old. Just keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, and it'll pay off one day. Um, shout out to my boy, uh, Mr. Butler, for giving me the idea. Cause I saw your post earlier about the child support thing, and I feel like it was a, a good topic to really touch on on the podcast. So shout out to him. Also shout out to. Uh, Marcus uh, McGee, go to Maniac's Mansion. All right, now black, Marcus. Black, black owned, History Month, support yeah, our, our black, black businesses. Business. Yeah, supporting our black businesses. The hottest DJ in town. <laughs> yes, he's also a DJ, so check him out. He's one of our good friends. We know him for a very long time, so very awesome guy. Down to earth, you love him if you don't know him. Maniac's Mansion's downtown was on 8th Street. 8th Street. 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 Yeah. Street, so it's arcade. Well put together. It's a Ciro's. Yeah, yeah, Ciro's. It's a cereal bar there. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, what, was it, what do you call it? Uh, cereal. Arcade Museum. Oh, you can eat cereal. Explosion <laughs> Expansion? Yeah, and he has a whole bunch of retro cereals and stuff there. And retro games and things like yeah, that. Yeah, so yeah. Y'all go by there and check, y'all check that out. He didn't pay for that. We just 
I'm gonna show him some love. <laughs> but I do want my conversation, <laughs> my reparations. Yeah, I want my T-shirt. Yeah, I want a T-shirt too, too, man. I want one also. <laughs> All right, appreciate it. It's a goddamn button.